Hi all, welcome back. We were in the middle of explaining how to read prompts and how to take notes, and we had just started step three, which is actually read the text. And again, I'm going to make a video of myself doing this, so that's why this one is really just going over the steps. But it's really important that you read with a pen or pencil in your hand and that you're writing down things as you read. Um, make sure that you're taking notes as you read. So really, it's not just the reading step, but at the same time, you are doing step four, which is recording notes on your graphic organizer. If you do not know how to do this, again, I am making a separate video to show me planning. I'm going to pretend to be you and do what you should be doing. But recording notes on your graphic organizer, in my opinion, is one of the most important steps. It's probably second most important to step number five which is write your claim slash controlling idea. A lot of us, I think, save this for when we're writing our intro. And the reason that you want to do this first is because this sentence, your claim or controlling idea, is the central idea behind your whole essay. And don't you want to have, if your essay is a ship, we're getting really deep and metaphorical here. If your essay is a ship, don't you want it to have a rudder? A rudder, for those of you who did not take boat safety, is the thing that steers the ship in the right direction. Don't you want to have your rudder, which is your claim slash controlling idea, before you go on a sailing voyage? Yes, I, I would think you would. So you need to write your claim slash controlling idea before you really begin the work of actually writing paragraphs. So remember, a claim is for an argument essay. It is the primary argument. Woo, argument behind your whole essay. A controlling idea is just the primary focus of what you are explaining in your explanatory essay. So claim goes with argument essay. Repeat after me. A claim goes with an argument essay. Thank you. I heard all of you very well. Repeat after me. A controlling idea goes with an explanatory essay. Thank you. I heard you all very well. Again, you all sound beautiful. Okay, next. Here's some things you need to remember about claims slash controlling ideas. Oh no, I'm running out of battery. Okay, a claim should be the last sentence of your introductory paragraph. It should be one sentence, a claim or controlling idea, should be the last sentence of your introductory paragraph, should be only one sentence, and should be a statement, not a question. Now you may be thinking, why is she saying number three? Of course it's a statement, but I just finished reading some essays in which people had controlling ideas that were questions. It was confusing. So make sure that it follows these three guidelines. Also, a claim should include your argument and reference your counterclaim. Why is this important? Because you cannot get a super high score on the writing test and you can't be an amazing argument writer, period, in life if you don't address the counterclaim. If you have a claim that's set up like this, then it's really hard to avoid addressing your counterclaim at least once. For example, although some may claim X, which is your counterclaim. Did you hear me? That is your counterclaim. The truth is Y, which is your, oh my goodness, I messed this up, which is your claim. Y is your claim. This is proof that Miss Robinson is fallible. Go ahead and say the definition of fallible out loud. A controlling idea should include a list of the two to three topics that your essay will cover. So you don't have to do that in your claim if you're writing an argument essay. But you do need to do that if you're doing an explanatory essay because it keeps the essay from being super confusing. So, for example, an example claim might be improve student learning. Sorry, an example controlling idea might be improve student learning and improved emotional health are two of the primary positive aspects of children spending time in nature. So my first body paragraph is going to be about. Say it out loud to yourself. Improve student learning. Thank you. My second body paragraph is going to be about. Thank you. Improved emotional health. So you need to remember those two things. And finally, what happens when you don't plan? Your paper has no organizing structure. So the reader's super confused. You may not clearly explain or argue according to your controlling idea because you don't have a plan for going back to that controlling idea or claim. Your controlling idea or claim may not be clear at all. Again, if you include a question, you may have a clear controlling idea or claim, but then a list of random junk after it, which confuses your reader because it's not 
following a clear structure, or um, your reader just may, in general, not want to read your essay, which is bad. So don't take what you think is the easy way out, which is not planning at all. It will make writing your essay more difficult. And that's my advice for you today. Have a great day. Goodbye.